Singapore Hong Kong travel bubble delayed, an uptick in cases. While Hong Kong's recent COVID-19 outbreak was not as severe as those in the US and Europe, with Hong Kong reporting 73 new cases on 23 November 2020, Singapore and Hong Kong jointly made the decision to defer the travel bubble launch by two weeks, with a new launch date to be announced later. The travel bubble between Singapore and Hong Kong had earlier been applauded as a pandemic war first, as people would have been allowed to travel to and from both cities without the need for quarantine. Under the agreement, the travel bubble would be suspended with a two-day notice if the seven-day moving average for unlinked cases exceeded five. However, Although the situation in Hong Kong was not severe enough to meet those parameters, the latest jump in infections led to authorities applying the brakes. Most of the recent cases in Hong Kong were linked to dance clubs, hence the Hong Kong government has announced a review of the need to tighten further social distancing rules, including closing businesses with a high risk of infection. It was hoped that the bubble uh, would revive the battered aviation sector in both places. Cathay Pacific Airlines in uh, Hong Kong and Singapore Airlines in Singapore continue to struggle as they have no domestic travel market to rely upon, with most travellers coming from feeder traffic arriving from the US and Europe before the outbreak.